I'm going to show you how to fix pretty much all of the issues with the Red Magic 5G. Um, at least all the issues that I've been having by installing a custom ROM called Black Magic 5G. Now, this is going to be the first beta that we're installing, so there are some issues and workarounds and everything, but as long as you follow along, you shouldn't have any issues. First thing we need to do is we need to turn the phone on, go to settings, and then go to about phone. And now in here, you're gonna have your build number and that's gonna show you what version you're on. So if you bought a North American phone, you'll be on 3.08. If it's a global phone, you'll be on 4.06. And if it's a China phone, I believe the launch was uh, like 2.36 or something. None of that matters though. Well, what we need to do is we need to go to China 2.46. So we're gonna be using a USB cable to the computer and later we are gonna be needing an on-the-go adapter and a USB stick, at least 16 gigs. Uh, you can do it through TWRP, but um, this is just the simplest method for me. So following along here, you're gonna need these. Uh, so connect the USB cable to your computer, just swipe down and you're gonna have a system notification here and that's going to be for the USB and we wanna transmit files. So now that we have over here phone coming up and we can transmit files, we're gonna go to browse by path and we're just gonna go to the root directory here and we're gonna copy over the CN 2.46 update. And now we're just gonna wait for that to copy real quick. Okay, so that's copied over. So now we can go back to the phone. Uh, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go to system update and settings. And then from here, uh, sometimes it'll ask for Wi-Fi or something, just ignore all of that. And we're just gonna go up to the top here. Oh. Also, before we go any further, you have to do a system reset first. You have to completely wipe the phone. So the proper way to do this is by in system update, go here, go to recovery mode, and then reboot into recovery mode. So now it's rebooting into recovery mode. And now you're gonna be using the volume and power button to navigate, so volume down, English, and from here we wanna go to wipe data. And from here you're gonna wipe the user data partition and then you're gonna wipe the cache partition. Uh, I have already done this before I started this, so just do that and then go back and then reboot into the system. Then once you've done this, it's gonna to get to the initial setup screen as being a new phone again. And you're gonna to wanna to set it up with no accounts, no passwords, nothing, just keep hitting next to get into the phone as fast as possible. And then you're gonna follow along with those steps to copy the update to the phone. Because we're switching regions, so you don't wanna have any files in the background which could cause issues. Now this is the point where you would be back here, fresh install, nothing's going on, you didn't set anything up, no passwords, no fingerprints, and then you're going to go to system update, tap the dots, local update, and we're going to tap the update zip that we've just copied over, and this is going to be to convert the phone from North American 3.08 or global 4.06 to China 2.46. If you're already on China, you can just do this without doing the factory reset first because it's already on China firmware, it's just doing the system update. So this is for North America and global ones only where you have to do that initial reset first, but this works on all three variants of the phone. Now we're gonna select that and install. And now it's in the recovery menu and it's installing the update. And it is in Chinese, obviously, because it's flashing a Chinese ROM, which is completely normal and expected, just ignore that. And so right here, it's hanging on 81%, which is completely normal. It'll just take a little bit longer and then it'll start going again. Okay, there it goes, now it's finishing up. So now it's gonna reboot into the setup screen. You can see that it's now in Chinese. And again, once we get to the setup screen, it's gonna start initializing everything. And then once we're ready to set up the phone, we're just, again, gonna set up a burner account, just keep hitting next, yes, whatever, just get to the phone operating system. Okay. So now we're in the setup screen for the Chinese version, so we can go United States, agree, uh, we don't need Wi-Fi right now, so we're just going to skip that, we're going to skip that, agree, sure, yeah, allow, skip, sure, okay. So now we're in the phone, what we want to do is we want to install TWRP recovery and then we can make a backup. So for this, uh, settings all the way down to the bottom, go to about phone, tap the build number seven times, that's going to open developer options and now in here we want to enable OEM unlocking. So we're going to enable that and then make sure USB debugging is on, everything's firing. So now in here we're going to open terminal and we're going to type in EDB devices. And now when we, oh, right. We have to swipe down from the top and we have to select USB and transmit files again. Okay, now allow this computer, because this is my computer, so I'm gonna allow it all the time. Allow, now check ADB devices, now we have it up. So now in here, we're gonna be typing in fast boot, or no, sorry, we're gonna type in uh, ADB reboot bootloader. And now that's gonna reboot the phone into the bootloader. So now we're in the bootloader and you can see that nothing has been tripped. It's completely stock. What we wanna do now is go fast boot devices, just make sure it's coming up and it comes up and everything's fine. So we wanna flash that recovery now. So 
we're going to unlock the bootloader. So we're gonna fast boot. Um, OEM Nubia underscore unlock space Nubia all caps underscore NX 659 J. Now you can see that we've tripped these flags here and the phone is unlocked. Now we can do fast boot flash reco recovery and we're gonna drag over the recovery file in the provided zip. So now we can just drag that over, flash that. Now we flash the recovery. Now we can do VB meta. So we're gonna do again, fast boot, flash VB meta. And we're gonna drag that file over, which is right here. And for HD calling, we're also gonna do fast boot, flash VB meta, or no, sorry, uh, modem. And drag this file over here. Now the modem is flashing, and now this isn't necessary, but it is something that you should do. Fast boot, flash, parameter, and we're gonna drag over the parameter image, and that's going to reset these flags back to zero, so it'll maintain the warranty on the phone. So now we can do that, everything's good, so now we're just going to hold power and volume down, and when the phone vibrates, release power. Okay, there we go. So now that we're back in, you can see that it is locked again and all of the flags have been reset. However, when we go to recovery mode, it will boot TWRP now. There we go. So now it's going to restart again and then this time it'll actually get us into TWRP. Perfect. So now what you want to do is unplug this. We don't need this right now. Take a USB stick and the on-the-go adapter, plug that into the phone. And what we want to do is we want to make a folder that has the device ID, so the serial number of the phone. So we're going to go to backup and just back up the boot image, select storage, and go to USB on the go. So now it's backing that up. Let's give it a minute to finish. And then you can see that this is what it's going to be called when we have the folder, but that folder with the number right there is what we're after. That's the one that we need. Okay, so that's done. So now what we can do is we can take the USB stick out, plug it into the computer, We'll open that and now you can see that we have a folder called TWRP and now in here we're going to open this, we're going to open backups, we have the device ID which is my serial number and then in here we have the backup. What we're going to want to do is in the provided files you will have Blackmagic 5G version 2.46. You're going to want to delete this and then you're going to want to drag this one over. However, like all great cooking shows, I've already done this. So now we can plug this into the phone and we want to reboot TWRP so that way it'll recheck the USB stick to make sure the backup is there. Okay, so now if we go to restore, it's reading the USB stick here and we have the backup. So now before we do that, we want to go to mount, uncheck data, go back home, go to wipe, format data, type in yes, accept that, wait for that to finish, go back home, go to mount again, uncheck data, Go back home, now go to restore, now check the backup. And we should be able to back up all of these files. Sometimes you will get this thing that says uh, tar fork error or something like that, or oh, extract tar fork. So what we want to do here, because we got that error, is we want to go to wipe, format data. Yes, now it's going to format the data. Now reboot the system. So now we just have to wait for the whole setup to do its thing and then get back to setting up an account, make another burner account, just we're back at the operating system and then just start over from there. But now we're not going to format data before we start. Okay, so again, we're just gonna go through the setup. Sure, yep, next, skip, agree, allow, next, skip, sure, awesome. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, now that we're back in, we can go to system update, that's that reminder for the network. Go to the three dots, enter recovery mode. Now it's gonna go back into TWRP. Now we're gonna go straight to restore. And now we're just gonna try to restore it. Now it may still have issues trying to restore data. Okay, it didn't, because it'll fail on 2%. So now it's good. So ideally, you do want to try and wipe data first before you do this, but if you get that tar fork error, go into the system, set it up, come back, do it again without doing that. 
sometimes for me it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's really back and forth with this because it is beta. Your mileage may vary depending on which phone you have. The 8128, the 12256, or even the 16256, if you've managed to get your hands on that one. There are some slight differences in compatibility between them, but it's it's nothing definitive. It just it's it's very randomized, the errors that I've been experiencing. But for the most part, you will eventually get it working with the workarounds. This fixes pretty much everything that I had wrong with the phone. So we're just gonna let that do that stuff, and then when it's done, we'll come back. Okay, so now that this has completed successfully, all we're gonna do is just reboot system. Now we can take this out. And now this is gonna boot into Blackmagic 5G Beta 1. So this is it, so we're just gonna swipe to unlock. And that's it. We're, we're now running it. It comes with uh, Netflix with HDR10 supported, uh, YouTube Advanced, which uh, basically has YouTube Premium function. It has root all ready to go. And system, we can go down, and you can see that device is rooted, so we do have root access. Uh, it has tons of useful tools in it, so we have uh, BusyBox, it has an ad blocker built in, you can uh, customize apps and stuff, uh, APK Mirror, so you don't have to sign in with a Google account if you don't want to, but you can if you want to use Play Store. And then there's some other useful stuff like Expose Manager and Root Browser. Now the bugs so far. Right from the box here, you have to turn data on. For some reason it won't stay on when you restore the backup. So you have to have data on in order to send or receive MMS. So once you have data on, MMS works and you can send the pictures and everything's fine. Calling does not work at all. You can send and receive calls, but there's no audio either way. Uh, as for the camera, if we go to video, everything's fine, but as soon as we hit record, it crashes. So those are the bugs that I found so far. Um, because this is on a China ROM, they don't have NFC there. Their, their phones don't physically have the antenna at the top. So NFC function does not work at all right now. So you don't have Google Pay or anything. But for the actual stability of the phone, solid. I haven't experienced a single app crash on me. It works every single time. The only things that I would like fixed would be recording video and the ability to call, obviously. I don't use NFC, so that's not a huge issue for me, but if those two issues could be fixed, uh, this is gonna be a bulletproof solution. Now, another thing here to mention is that if we go to settings and we go all the way down to password, fingerprint, and face, we now have face unlock. So that's, that's just an awesome feature to have is face unlock. The fingerprint reader will still work because we've relocked the bootloader when we uh, reset all the parameters and everything. And the way that we are unlocking it to begin with was a bypass. So it wasn't actually unlocking it, it was only momentarily unlocking it so we could flash files. And then once they're flashed, it locks it again. So right now the bootloader is locked, the fingerprint reader will work. And we now have face unlock, which is way faster than the fingerprint. It actually unlocks before I can even get my thumb to the fingerprint reader. So I don't even use the fingerprint reader anymore at all. It's only face unlock. It's ridiculously fast. Anyway, that's it. Uh, hopefully you enjoy your Red Magic 5G with Black Magic 5G Beta 1 ROM. Honestly, if you have one of these phones, you're gonna want this ROM. It improves everything about the phone. The phone is, is more responsive. It, like, everything works. It doesn't matter. There's no app crashes. Everything just opens fast. Everything's good. There's no issues. You can open as many apps as you want. And those were huge issues that I was having before. Things just crashing on me for no reason. Things just not appearing in the multitask after opening them. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely worth checking out. Uh, one thing is it doesn't have an app drawer because the China version doesn't have an app drawer. So that's another thing worth mentioning. I mean, for beta one and this being an almost daily software minus the phone not having a phone function and you can't record video, those are basically the only two big things for me. This is completely stable. If you only want to play games, go for this. It works fantastic. Uh, every game that I've tried so far, it has worked without issues. Just running Global 3.08, I was actually running into issues of some games crashing, not loading, or locking up the phone completely. Testing the same games on this, no issues at all. So if you just want to play games, stable ROM, ready to go. I wouldn't even question it. Just flash it. You're good to go. Um, if you want to daily this phone as your main device, it's, it's going to come with its, uh, its tweaks there because you can't record video, you can't make calls, but... 
uh, this is being worked on. So once a beta 2 is sorted out, those issues should be fixed. Anyway, that's it for this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like the video, comment what you thought, or, um, you know, don't, uh, because I'm not telling you what to do.